Hey everybody, today I want to talk about Git, G-I-T, Git. What is Git, what can it do for you, and how can it help your workflow? So instead of going through all the theory and like what it is and stuff, I'm gonna show you what it does. So there are a couple of things. Um, you can go to this website and you can download um, and install Git on your own machine. I have a Mac here, so if you're on Windows, there's you can do just whatever, just download it and get it set up. One of the things you're going to have to do, and, I, and I'm not really going to go over it in this video because this video is kind of like just a basic overview, but you're going to need to set up your username and your email so it'll link it to whenever you make commits, it'll link your name to it and on GitHub and stuff. Um, but so any, anyways, let's go ahead and go inside of Android Studio and I'm going to create a new project. We're going to call it Git Tutorial. Enter, 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 and all that's good. And I'm gonna show you what Git can do for you. And I'm on a fast machine machine here, so this will take a second. Actually, what I'm gonna what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this font larger uh, so you can actually see it. I'll change it up to 22, nice and big. We're not gonna be doing much code in here, but say so I want to do something. So if you notice in the bottom left of your corner, you have terminal. Now you can use your terminal on your Mac and you can CD into the directory. Um, this is a regular, just a regular uh, command line, ls to list the files and there you are. CD or PWD for present, uh, current, present working directory or where you are right now. So I'm user Daniel Malone, Android Studio Projects, Git Tutorial. So um, let's go ahead and do some commands. So you, this is all done on the terminal. Now there's a the GitHub and the, there are other ways to do this, but I always like to use the command line. So what can we do? So git status, what does this do? Um, it says fatal, not a git repository. Um, the first thing you need to do is git init, like that. So, op so basically open up Android Studio, make sure you have a project open up. Go down to the bottom left, click on terminal and type uh, let's see if I can type, it'll look like this, type git init, like that. And it'll initialize an empty git repository. So, and this may be kind of confusing right now, but as, as I go along, hopefully it'll make more sense. So I'm gonna type another command, there's git init, there's tons of commands you can type. I'm gonna write git status, enter. And it says, hmm, here are some files. And you might notice them, there's a git ignore, there's an app folder, there's a Gradle folder. Uh, gradle.pil, there's a Gradle folder, all these different files. So what's going on? Um, let's do a couple more commands. Let's do git add dot. That'll add everything into this git repository. So now let's do git status. And you see we have all these new files. So look at, look at all these green files here, like it just added new files. Now I can do git commit dash m initial commit. And this, may not, this might not be making much sense to you, but hopefully as we go along, it'll make more sense. So what's going on here? What did we do? I'm gonna do another command, git log. And what this is, is basically a log of every change I've made. So this is your kind of standard workflow. You create a, and, then there, and this will be the basic one for now, but basically you make some change, you commit it, you, you add the files, you commit it, and you say, hey, I made the button blue. Then you do a couple more hours work. You make the, say you wanna go back and you say, oh, I want the button to be red actually, or I want it to be yellow. So you, you make that change, you make the button yellow, you go back in git and you type um, git add dot git status, git commit, and then you make a, make, make a message that says, hey, I made, I added a second button or whatever you did. So git log is, a, and we can also do git log one line like that so that's another command you can type and it'll say that's that's the that's the sh that's the unique identifier but it says initial commit so um let, let's make this even more clear with an with a with a uh with a, an example so right now i can type git status you'll type that all the time and it says nothing to commit working tree clean that means i haven't made any changes yet so uh, oh and there's this this when this opens up you can just go ahead and click add root there and that'll that'll add so I'm gonna to go to resources, layout, activity main, and I'm gonna go ahead and make this smaller so we can see it itself. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on hello world, and I'm gonna uh, change the background color. So where's the background color? Background, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do F, oh sorry. So now the background color is red. So I made a change inside of my app. Now, obviously you probably wouldn't do, you would, probably wouldn't make this background red, but this is just for an example. So now let's do git status. 
and now it says modified. What is modified? Or app, or source, or layout, and it's activity main. So yes, yeah, sure enough, this is the same file that I made a change to. And so if you, so, basic. So this is letting you know, hey, you have some changes. So remember, git status. You can always run git status. It's not a dangerous command. Um, you can do it all the time. I do it all the time. I do it all day, every day to see what my status is. So now what we want to do is we want to add that file to our, to our we want to make a change. We, we already made a change, so we want to commit that so we can have a little snapshot. So if we ever want to go back to this place, we can say, hey, um, let's go back to this commit where I made the background color red. Now let's go ahead and do git diff. There's, a, there's another command there. And this will show you what changed. So if, if and you can see here, uh, this is actually the XML layout, so it's the background color is red, and that's that's the color there. I'm going to hit Q to get out of that, so I'm going to do git status, and yeah, there's the modified file, so I want to git add everything, which means the dot, the dot, which means everything. Now git status, now it says it's modified and it's green now, so now we can commit it. So git commit dash m make text text background red. Now I'm going to do something else. Now I'm going to do git, let's see, git log one line. And now you see two commits. You see our initial commit here, what, what I made when I first did our commit. And now I see another button here, another something here. It says make text make text background background red. So basically this is a little log of all of our changes and we have two changes so far. So I'm going to make another change. So I'm going to do git status and it says nothing to commit, working tree clean. Um, so I'm going to go here and actually I don't want it red, I want it, uh, let's do zero, zero. So let's make it green color. So let's go back to, to go back to the terminal and just open it up from the terminal here at the bottom. Git status and now it says the file is modified, activity main. So now let's go ahead and do git add dot, that'll add everything git status and now we see oh it's modified and it's ready to be committed so let's do git commit dash m make background green so cool so that uh, uh, was successful now let's do git status and it says nothing to commit working tree clean we're on branch master we'll get into branches later but now let's do git git log one line and now you can see we have uh, our initial commit there, we, we, I called that initial commit. We also have our make te back, text background color red and we have our make background green there. So this is giving you a log of every single change that you make. So say you add a screen and you add some text views and you want to save that. Um, you can basically go in and say, hey, you know, do get status, do get add dot, do get commit dash m, you know, uh, add text views for the home screen or whatever. So hopefully this is making a little bit more sense. I'm going to go ahead and do one more change. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to make it, let's see, blue. So you probably wouldn't do this in real life, but we can go here and do get status. And now, yep, sure enough, we've modified that file. You know, let's do something else. Um, let's, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into text view and we have, I'm going to give it an ID and we'll call this, uh, title. So we'll do that. I'm going to reformat the code, go back into the design view, and that this shouldn't really do anything. So I'm going to go into main activity here, and I'm going to do something in here. I'm going to do tech, uh, text view m title. And I'm going to come down here and go m title equals find view r dot dot i uh, dot id dot type. I'm going to go ahead and cast that. So now I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to come back down here and do git status. So when I do git status, it says, hey, we have two modified files. So that one and that one. And what are they? If you look all the way up to down at the path, it says mainactivity.java. So sure enough, we, we did modify this file right here. We modified it there. But we also modified activity main. So it'll give us two files. So I want to add both of them. So I'm going to do git add dot. That'll add both of them. So git status modified both of those files are modified and ready to be saved so I'm going to do git commit commit add now these 
we'll talk about uh, messages later but for now this will work I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, press enter and do get status and do get log uh, you can just do get log if you want it'll 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 tell you the author the date and all that kind of stuff so you can see our initial commit is here and if I'm choosing my up and down arrow keys on my key on my MacBook Pro and you can see the commits and they're each associated with a kind of like think this as like an ID for it so if you ever want to go back or you want to see the differences between these you can always do that so I'm gonna hit the Q key on my keyboard to get out of that I'm gonna do get log dash dash one line I kind of like this um, this gives you our uh, initial commit we made the background color red we made it green we added something to main activity um, and also to our layout so this is this is your log of what happened so say I want to go back to the very beginning I'm going to do get uh, I'm going to do get reset hard and then I'm going to get um, this and I'm going to copy it here and now uh, So now I went back to our very own commit. So I just get this is very dangerous. So don't do this. Um, uh, I was just showing you. You can go back. So now if we look at this file. See now it's back to where we were. So like think of this as a way to like go back in time and say you want to say you made some mistakes and you don't want you don't you don't really want that button to be red or blue or whatever color. You can do this. So get branch and we're on the master branch and get log. And now we're back to just one commit. So I get so this is very dangerous. So be careful. You can mess things up and get. But I just basically went back in time and I went back to where we first started. So if I go back to activity main, you'll see. Hey, there's no background color. It's back to where. And if I do git log, you'll see. Yeah, all we have is initial commit. So this is this this can be really helpful. So say you make some changes, like you change like what I did. I made the background color red and green and blue, and I don't really want those changes. I can go back in time and say, hey, go me back in time where I did the initial commit, and that was what about ten minutes ago. So this is can be very very useful. You can also compare files between different commits. I can say, hey, what happened between making the color red and making it blue? Um, what are the changes I made? You can see you can do you can add files. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff. So this has kind of been an introduction to Git. Um, I'll make more videos on Git. This is just the very basics. Be careful if you're doing a reset hard. That'll go back in time and you could lose some data. So just be very, very careful. And I'll do more on Git later. Um, thanks, everybody. If you have questions, leave them, leave them in the comments below.